Hello, Marshall families. This is Mrs. Price with your principal's message for the month of March. I want to begin my message with a reminder about arrival. School begins each day at 7.30 a.m. We open the doors for students at 7.10. Please be aware that we do not have supervision for students who are dropped off early. This is important for student safety. Please know that if you leave your student at the front doors before 7.10, we have no control over what happens during that time because we don't have any adults on duty to supervise. Please do not drop off your students before 7.10. Please also know that breakfast is served in the classrooms beginning at 7.30 until 7.50. There is no breakfast available for students after 7.50. So if your students need to eat breakfast, please make sure that they are here on time. So when we talk about school starting at 7.30, I wanna make sure that everyone understands what that means. At 7.30, teachers are in the classroom with the students starting instruction. Our morning lessons for SEL begin at 7.30. Students eat breakfast and receive their morning lesson. Students who are late, even just 10 minutes each day, can end up missing more than 30 hours of school over the course of year. That is 30 hours of lost learning time. That is a week's worth of learning just by being 10 minutes late each day. So we please, please ask you, how important is your child's education? What life lessons are you teaching? Are you teaching your child that getting to school on time is like getting to work on time? That's what we want to begin making sure that our students understand, not only that they're losing learning, but that it's an important life lesson to be on time. Thank you for helping us to get your students in class on time every day. As you're well aware, our school sits on a two lane street. There's not a whole lot we can do about the fact that we have a lot of traffic in the morning and the afternoon, but there are some things we can do to make it go a little bit more smoothly. But parents, we need your help. When you're exiting the drop off and pick up lanes at arrival and dismissal each, way, each day, we ask that you turn right out of the parking lot. We know that many of you need to turn left to head down towards Homestead, we get that. But when we have cars turning in both directions as well as cars entering the driveways, it really creates a traffic jam. So we do ask that when you exit, you turn right and you can use the street down by the park to turn left and go through the neighborhood back out to Homestead if you need to. We also ask, please, please, please parents, do not drop your child off in the street, across the street from the school. I know that you're in a hurry. We know that you don't wanna get in the car rider lane, but please, we know that your child's safety is worth a few extra minutes. Drive through the line. We've worked hard to make that line move quickly. Finally, we ask that you do not use cell phones while you're in the car arrival and dismissal line. Parents who are on the phone are distracted. And in a lot of cases, we have kids walking between cars, trying to get to their vehicles or get out of their vehicles. And when you're on your phone and you get distracted, it creates an unsafe environment. Please, please make sure that you are not on your phones while you're in our drop off and pick up lines. We are entering the spring testing season. We have a large number of students taking telepass this month and star testing will be in the month of May. Parents, we ask you to help us by making sure that your child has a good night's sleep and arrives to school on time every day. We want them to be successful. Spring break is coming. The week of March 4th, 14th through March 18th 
is spring break. We will have Camp Spark for eligible students. And for those students who are not coming to Camp Spark, we encourage you to have your child read every day and use Imagine Learning or Imagine Math if you have a computer available. If you have a kindergarten, first or second grade student, we encourage you to review their high frequency words each day. We have some flashcard videos for parents on our YouTube channel, and there's a QR code at the end of this presentation and also on your March calendar that you can scan that will take you directly to the PowerPoints for the high frequency words that your child needs to know in order to be promoted to the next grade. If your kindergarten knows all of the kindergarten words, go on and start practicing those first grade words. If your first grader knows all the first grade words, go on and start practicing those second grade words. It's not too early to get a head start. As I close out this month's message, we want to give a shout out of congratulations to our Marshall Dance team. Our Marshall Dance team participated in the HISD All City Competition in February, and they brought home numerous awards. Winners of the mini solo division were for first place, Nikayla Woods. For the youth solo division, second place, Anna Valeria Segundo, and first place, Chloe Buckingham. For the youth division, our team won first place in the novelty dance, first place in the hip hop dance, and first place in Palm. We also had an outstanding first place for the youth team and outstanding choreography. We won a sweepstakes award and the circle of champions award. That's the eighth place highest score of the entire competition. We are so proud of our boys and girls under the direction of Ms. Ferguson, who went out and represented Marshall in such a great way. Way to go. As always, families, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to your child's teacher directly, and we will make sure that, um, that those concerns are addressed. We look forward to having a wonderful spring, a spring break, and a great close to this 2021-22 school year. Thank you all, and have a great month of March. Bye.